Hey guys, it's Chris with TotCove.com, and as you can see, I got a logo up, and yes, it does have our website name on it because it happens to be the new logo for the website. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made this guy. Let me zoom in for you so you can get a good look at it. As you can see, it's not that many layers. It's only actually three layers that we use. Um, very basic to do. Uh, it's good to me. It looks great, you know. Uh, see how this little design in the back kind of flows in with the text. You see the lines going through. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. And real quick, yes, that is an ICQ icon down there. Don't ask me about it. It is my new, my new love in life. Again, I feel like I'm 12 all over again. But all right, let's start a new document. Create a new document. Uh, let's make it 800 by 800. I always do this when making a logo just so you have a big space to work with. And under background contents, make sure you click transparent. I saw some people asking in the comments about that. Make sure it's transparent. Just do it. So create that document. You know, it'll probably be zoomed out at 66.7%. That's fine. Real quickly, let me go over here. I gotta grab this color. Whoop. So you're gonna start out, basically, you just type out your logo name. So here it is, Tuck Cove, and it's in this green color right here. You can look right here, hex code right there, 7E9215. Write that down, I'll put it in. So type out your text, Tuck Cove, it's in that green font that I just showed you, 125 point size, and I'm using a font called Bubble Boy. And I actually downloaded this at defont.com. So look at my other video on how to download it and install fonts, and you can figure out how to do that. So you just type out your little logo right here or whatever you want the name of your site whatever you want to call it and it'll be on the bottom layer here and let's go ahead and just jump right into this right click that text layer and go to blending options and we're going to start out with a little gradient overlay I know nice you can use the default black to white one and then kind of bring the opacity down a little to give it that little web 2.0 look go here click stroke we're going to give it a white stroke and we want this to be a pretty fatty stroke, as in pretty big, but not too big. So there we go. You can't really see it because it's on a transparent background, but I have the stroke at 8. So we'll go ahead and look at those settings. Now we're going to add a pattern. And for the pattern, I use this pattern that I downloaded. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to show you word for word how to do this, but make it your own logo, you know. I'm just showing you how I did this. So find your own patterns use your own unique pattern but this is what I did I found this these patterns online and I use this pattern right here and I basically just brought the opacity down a little to give it that kinda neat little look right there so that alone makes this logo badass so click OK and we're zoomed out and zoom in and see there we go we are already this logo looks really freaking cool so now we're gonna add this little shape right here so believe it or not I just created that myself and a lot of people don't really think when they use Photoshop. You just got to use your head. If you want to make something, let's say like clouds or something, you can so easily do that. Just think with your head. You can create all these geometrical shapes, manipulate them. So right here, I got a circle. I use the elliptical marquee tool. I'm on a new layer, and we are going to fill this. What did I fill this with? We want to fill it with our green color. So fill that with your green color. Let's go into the blending options of this guy, and we're going to add the stroke on there and make it a white stroke. And again, make it with that fatty little about eight nine pixel stroke around it. Gradient overlay, just like the other one, bring it down, bring it down around right there, around 30 percent. Leave all the other settings how they are. Pattern overlay, and we're going to use the same pattern. So bring the opacity down a little there we go so we're gonna wanna take this little circle guy we just created and move him down and the way I had it was so that this little let me zoom in so you can see exactly what I mean you see here it kinda looks like a beam of light and right here I made it connect to the circle so it looks like one big beam of light so let's zoom back out to 100 percent and let's make the circle a little bit smaller So there we go right there. And we want to turn rotate this a little. And basically just move that into position. 
As you can see, I'm having some troubles with it right now. Uh, there we go. So there you go. You can see in this one, it's moved to the left a little bit more, but that is fine. So one thing I don't like is right here in the U, you can see the circle. We kind of want to just, you know, we could take that out. We could leave it in. You know, it looked better if we took it out because it kind of looked like the moon thing is connected to all this text. So go ahead and make the selection down here. Just delete. So it kind of looks like a half croissant moon. And zoom out. And there you go. I mean, that's your logo. And it's very simple, easy enough. You can merge these layers. Layer merge visible. And you can just select your logo. Press Control C. Go to File New. It'll put in the default size and paste it in there, and you got your logo. See how simple that was? And that is a good, sexy looking logo. Very unique. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, check out the forums, tuckcove.com slash forum. You can post, earn points, uh, buy lots of cool, cool stuff like advertising spots on the main site. You can buy little PSDs and all sorts of crap. So, go check that out. Sign up. Check out our sponsors. Thank them for helping us get the uh, Envision Power Board in the first place. And if you have questions, sign up on the forums, post, don't be scared to ask, subscribe to the YouTube channel, do it all.